a good understanding of the power voltage or the P versus V characteristics of a photovoltaic cell is very important in the design of PV power conversion systems. Here we will study these uh, PV characteristics and uh, the, this will be based on the PV cell model that we developed in earlier videos. Here we will introduce the uh, maximum power point and the fill factor of a PV cell and study the effects of uh, irradiance and temperature in, in this part 1 and uh, take up the effects of other parameters in part 2. The figure shows the single diode based uh, PV cell model together with the parasitic resistances. The photon current IPH is a function of the solar irradiance level. Now, the equation relating the PV current and the voltage is shown here and uh, the I versus V, the current versus voltage as well as the power versus voltage, uh, both of these characteristics are essentially derived from this equation. This is the current voltage or the I versus V characteristics of a single PV cell which you have studied in detail in earlier videos. Now near um, very low voltages near zero, the diode current as well as this uh, shunt leakage current they are both uh, negligible resulting in the PV output current being equal to the photon current also called as the short circuit current ISC. Now as the voltage begins to increase the diode current increases slowly at first resulting in the uh, corresponding output current uh, reducing the corresponding output current. Now beyond a certain voltage around uh, 0.45 volts in this uh, uh, in this example the diode current rises at a very rapid rate and the output current therefore also decreases at the same rapid rate the voltage with uh, zero current or at open circuit is called the open circuit voltage VOC the red curve again is the current versus voltage characteristics that we saw in the previous slide and here is the short circuit current and here is the open circuit voltage VOC and uh, this plot is obtained at an irradiance level of 1000 watts per square meter. Now the the power is simply the product of uh, this current and the voltage V and uh, this is plotted against the same voltage to get the power versus voltage characteristics as shown by this uh, blue curve here. Again looking at the current versus voltage curve at this end, uh, at IASC, even though the current magnitude is large, the voltage at this point is zero. Therefore, their product, which is power, is also zero at the short circuit uh, point. Now, as the voltage increases and with the current um, almost constant, with very little change in the external current, the power uh, rises linearly. And this uh, almost linear rise happens up to around I would say up to around this point and uh, beyond that point the current begins to drop appreciably therefore the increase in the power is no longer linear uh, but it rises uh, at a lower uh, at a smaller rate and uh, somewhere around this point that is when the power actually reaches its maximum value and beyond this point the decrease in the current is so rapid that even with increasing voltage the power actually comes down as seen by this end of the and uh, it reaches zero at uh, the open circuit voltage VOC where by definition the current is zero. Here I have plotted actually the uh, rate of change of power with respect to the voltage then dp over dv for voltages ranging from zero up to the open circuit voltage VOC. Now, as seen, the dp over dv is uh, positive and uh, constant initially, leading to the linear increase in the power um, initially. And this happens up to around this point, after which the dp over dv actually begins to reduce. And um, somewhere uh, at, at this point, the dp over dv is uh, exactly zero, and this is where the maximum power occurs. Now, after this point, the dp over dv is actually negative and therefore the uh, power actually begins to reduce as the voltage uh, continues to increase. Okay, so the point at which the maximum power occurs is called the maximum power point and the power here is the PMP or the maximum power. 
so PMP stands for the maximum power and then the voltage at which the power is maximum um, so that is called as the maximum power point voltage or VMP so VMP is the voltage at the maximum power okay? and in this example it is very close to 0.5 volts okay? and finally the uh, the corresponding current at this maximum power point which can be read from the current voltage characteristic at the VMP voltage point so that is called as the maximum power point current IMP so uh, IMP is the current at a maximum power and in this example it is uh, just slightly less than 8 amperes and the maximum power the power scale is to the right and uh, PMP in this example is about um, 3.9 watts or so this is for a single cell okay and uh, this maximum power point changes with environmental conditions and the objective of one of the control loops of a power converter is to ensure that the operation is always at the corresponding correct maximum power point okay again this is the i versus uh, i versus b the top curve and this is the uh, p versus b curve now this point is the maximum power point on the P versus V curve and going along the uh, VMP voltage where we intersect the I versus V curve is this uh, point uh, VMP comma IMP the maximum power point on the current voltage curve and uh, this new point here is the um, uh, is the point at which both the voltage and the current are at their respective maximum possible values namely the open circuit voltage VO, VOC and the short circuit current ISC now this is only a theoretical point and not a possible operating point for any PV cell however it does provide a standard to, to evaluate how good a given PV cell really is so closer the maximum power point the VMP IMP point to this um, theoretical point VOC comma ISC the better is the design and therefore higher is the energy yield so a new metric called the fill factor denoted by FF can be defined and the definition is the ratio of uh, this maximum actual maximum power point that is VMP times IMP um, to the um, power represented by this point which is VOC times ISC so VMP times IMP divided by VOC times ISC is the fill factor and higher the value of fill factor better is the PV cell design okay. or the fill factor can also be defined as the ratio of this blue rectangle which uh, includes the point VMP IMP the actual maximum power point to the um, yellow rectangle which includes this um, theoretical point VOC comma ISC the ratio of these two rectangles is also the fill factor now low values of fill factor represent higher losses in the uh, parasitic resistances as well as in uh, in the diode non-idealities and uh, for this particular example the uh, uh, if you look at this maximum power point the maximum power point voltage VMP is uh, 0.498 as shown here and the maximum power point current IMP is uh, uh, 7.95 okay, so the ratio of their product to the open circuit voltage times the current times the short circuit current so VOC is uh, uh, 0.622 and the ISC is 8.33 amperes so that the ratio is 0.75 so which is uh, uh, a typical value for uh, commercial PV cells next we look at the effect of uh, environmental conditions on the power voltage curve and first the uh, effect of the solar irradiance level so I modeled the PV cell in MathCAD and varied the irradiance level and uh, the animation here is from MathCAD where the irradiance denoted by IRR in watts per square meter that is changed uh, smoothly from 1000 watts per square meter to uh, I believe 200 watts per square meter and for each case I plot the corresponding uh, power voltage curves 
and uh, for reference the plot corresponding to the maximum 1000 watts per square meter is uh, is always shown and uh, I'm also showing the corresponding uh, the maximum power PMP uh, as well as the open circuit voltage for each irradiance level and uh, um, and more importantly I'm also showing the fill factor again for each of the um, uh, irradiance level so let's uh, run the animation first so you can see the uh, the one corresponding thousand watts is staying here and as the irradiance changes it reduces both the IV plot and the PV plot they progressively um, come down okay, let's run this again and you can see the change in the maximum power the open circuit voltage does not change appreciably and uh, the change in the fill factor as well I can also um, run this uh, step by step so so this is at 1000 watts per square meter uh, the fill factor is about is, is 0.748 if we go to uh, as close as possible to the 500 points 500 watts per square meter so that is uh, okay somewhere here 504 um, watts per square meter the fill factor is actually increased to 0.766 um, and the open circuit voltage is, is a lower value 0 0.6 if I go to say the 200, the lowest point, uh, roughly here, the uh, or okay, fill factor is uh, 0 0.763 and the open circuit voltage is uh, 0.571. Okay. So the the main point is the uh, power level uh, decreased almost in proportion to the irradiance, and uh, the um, um, even though I've not um, shown it explicitly. The maximum um, power point voltage, the VMP, also changes with the irradiance level. Okay, so here I show the um, IV and the PV plots for one irradiance level, thousand watts per square meter, and here is the corresponding maximum power point PMP, maximum power, and the corresponding maximum power point voltage VMP is uh, right here. Now, if I reduce the irradiance to 500 watts per square meter um, then these are the IV and the PV plots that I get at the reduced uh, irradiance now the new maximum power point is uh, is right here okay. obviously the maximum power is much lower um, roughly one half of the previous value and uh, more importantly the voltage at which this maximum power occurs which is the VMP2 for the new irradiance level that is um, slightly above 0 0.5 whereas the original VMP was slightly less than 0.5 okay. so the main point is uh, as the environmental conditions change like the uh, irradiance or the temperature as we see in the next slide the uh, voltage at which the maximum power occurs keeps changing and uh, the algorithms in our power converters need to track this um, uh, this change and always ensure that we operate at the maximum possible power okay and uh, this plot uh, from a simulation shows the uh, power voltage curves for uh, five different values of uh, solar irradiance level from 1000 to uh, 200 watts per square meter and clearly you can see the power um, comes down in roughly uh, in the same ratio as the reduction in the irradiance level and the maximum power point voltage uh, is uh, very slightly different in in each case in one of the earlier videos uh, we have seen that the temperature significantly affects mainly the diode characteristics uh, in particular the reverse saturation current increases um, uh, very appreciably with uh, increase in temperature and uh, we also looked at the impact of the temperature on the current voltage curves earlier and the impact is mainly to reduce the open circuit uh, voltage so the lower set of uh, curves here they are the IV curves and shown at two different voltages the green curve is at the STC and this brown curve is at a slightly higher temperature uh, higher by 25 degrees C so you can see the impact on the open circuit voltage very clearly higher the temperature lower is the open circuit voltage now coming to the power voltage curve uh, which is the top two curves again the blue is at lower temperature 
and the pink is at the higher temperature. So clearly the impact of higher temperature is to reduce the maximum power from uh, somewhere here to, to this point. Okay. And the scales are to the, to the right. So the at STC it is about 3.9 watts, whereas uh, at the slightly higher temperature it is more like 3.4 or so. Now, now we saw that um, the uh, VOC, the open circuit voltage, comes down um, at about um, about 0.35 percent for every degree Celsius rise in the temperature, um, whereas the power maximum power actually comes down even more steeply it is it reduces by 0.45 percent for every degree celsius uh, increase in the temperature so higher is the temperature less is the uh, energy captured from the sun uh, or less efficient is the overall pv cell uh, operation okay. and he, here are some numbers from a commercial pv module so the temperature coefficient of voc for this uh, uh, model is 0.33 and but uh, percent per degree Celsius, whereas the temperature coefficient of the maximum power, the PMP, is 0.44%, uh, uh, minus 0.44% per degree Celsius. So in this example, the uh, corresponding to this 25 degree Celsius rise in the temperature, the power actually comes down by um, 0.44 times 25, so that is 11%. So the power is reduced by 11% um, in this example. So it goes from roughly about 3.95 watts for uh, STC uh, condition to about uh, 3. Point, um, I would say about 5 watts at the higher temperature. So that's 11%, roughly 11% decrease.